Well, just a little stress involved. PC froze. If, in case you didn't know, that wasn't the show. All right, that lasted five minutes, 29 seconds. As soon as I switched scenes from starting soon to the real live stream scene, froze. And I don't know, I think it's because like I turned my air off up here maybe and it got really warm and my PC just stayed on with OBS open and everything else. And uh, yeah, whatever, man. Sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the bar eats you, or whatever. Okay, Big Lebowski. Okay? Okay. Let me, uh... Let me just get back in the swing of things, alright? I had my groove, and then my groove was literally destroyed. So, uh, forgive it all, alright? Hey, look, we've since pulled back. All it took was me uh, going offline for a second for this thing to pull back. Okay, Tether. Bitcoin to US dollar Tether. 5350 right now. 40 minutes left on the 4-hour candle. As uh, we've just been flirting around with a nice break that we need. That break being the 50% retrace from X to A, the high to low. That resistance, that 50 moving average, as you see right there as we're touching it. And overhead resistance, look left, candle close, highs. You must break. Double bottom, bullish divergence on both oscillators. We could run to the upside and make much higher prices. The RSI is at 57. Uh, so hot, but not too hot. I mean, it's like perfect, dude. Like conditions are ripe for a, you know, for a higher leg up. From where we are now, we could go higher. Like there's room to run if you will all right again not too much has changed at all since i got off the stream today in fact we're right back to the same price we were at i guess on this chart and i think we're a little bit higher on the the coinbase chart but we don't have this sweet pattern which we could also plot there but uh we just wanted to let's go to that us dollar chart all right Closer and closer to the measure move of the pennant. So, the widest areas of the pennant from the breakout, well, it's just this from the breakout. So, it's a little bit higher. It's 53.73, and we've gotten as high as 53.42. All right. So, the measure moves close to being hit, but I think we could go much higher than that based off what we're seeing on the oscillators. Okay. And the bulls have the ball for now. Okay. It's just called XABCD. The XABCD pattern is what is called Neil C. <clears throat> uh, R. Craw, you woke up for this, so no dang bad news. No bad news besides blah. Let's get a little higher, please, since, uh, again, we're at the same price we were at from earlier. I think I have to just live with the freezing, and I've got to, like, just restart, reset my computer after I get done with one stream or, like, turn it off before I... It just sucks, man. It's a, it's a pain in the butt, like, getting ready for stream. Like, all the intricacies involved, all the steps that uh, you develop over time. Man, it's just a headache. So, I prefer to not have to set up stream twice every day. But if I'm gonna have to, I'm. If it will prevent the stream from uh, the computer from freezing, I'll, I'll do it. And summertime is right around the corner. Okay. So, uh, sorry, y'all, again about that inconvenience. Believe me, it's for you and me both. But beautiful upsloping channel, the consolidation we've been forming since April second. And just as Bitcoin impulsed up a couple times, a month has gone by. Just think back on this month where you were. Have you gotten better? Have you learned more? Have you evolved from this time to last 
30 days, the last 30 days. Talk about in chat. Just let me know. You don't have to tell anyone else. You can just tell me in chat what you've gotten better at as an individual. And it doesn't have to be in pertinence to trading. It can be anything, okay? The whole point of this show is getting better, investing in yourself. And it doesn't have to be about trading. It can be about anything, all right? Positive energy. Let's go, man. Let's, let's hear what you've gotten better at this month, okay? Looking back in rewind. All right, there's Bitcoin. Cool, dude. Very cool. Could go higher. Ethereum. Connect. Might as well just look at the uh, other one first. Why not? Okay. So, gone really nowhere. I mean, honestly, it's uh, it hit the 200, 200 moving average and rejected it. 200 moving average, this red trend line. You can see this line right there. We hit it and said, oh, no, no, no. As Carlos Matos would say, we shall not exceed the 200 moving average. We shall reject it. So just pulling back. And it's weird because Bitcoin's not really pulling back that much. But we would expect in time, based on what we saw here, the nice bullish, very nice bullish convergence on the RSI, and we made a higher low with positive momentum. It's pretty good. That's like convergence, all right? So from X to A, there might be a crab setting up. The 88.6% retrace around 173, but there's a down sloping resistance that might prevent you from ever getting to these heights. It's around 168, $169, all right? So that is reasonable to believe we could run up to that area. RSI, just like Bitcoin, 62. Hot, but not too hot. Bullish territory above 60. Let's go, man. Let's see how the recovery plays out. Okay. Eventually, though, we'd like to see a lower high develop, lower than our previous highs. And then we sell off to make a lower low than our previous lows. And then eventually we can hit the third target of our bearish crab pattern that's not pictured. But that would also be an entry for a long position. 88.6% retrace from X to A. Okay. And that rhymed. Nice. But uh, just very nice, man. Very nice to see. What's up, Crypto Chris, man? Thanks, dude. Sorry, it always freaks out on the first notification, I think, on stream. So most of the time, that's Ace G. He always takes the, uh, the bullet on that or bites the bullet on that one. Thanks, Ace G for all your sacrifices of the double chimes or something. Thanks. <laughs> Exit scam. Nice one. That was like the la the absolute last comment of the uh, of the stream that actually got published as a five minute video. I want to see for kicks how many views that video gets. People are going to be like, screw this guy. I've been waiting five minutes for this show and it ends all right. So uh, Spencer says, first like. Nice, dude. Thanks, man. With death comes life. All right. Jimmy Ragsdale, happy birthday again, man. Oh, my God. Happy birthday to Jimmy Ragsdale. We're going to play this in his honor, okay? This is him. He's in the chat right now. Tomorrow, I hope to hear plenty of Jesus chimes, of Jeremy Ragsdale Jesus chimes. I got you. Hold on. This is a test. So please, well, actually, I don't even think I have to do a test. I can actually do it without. Hold on. All right, y'all. So the birthday boy who's in chat right now, this is his voice. I can't wait till uh, we really do get an actual pledge because I have a new graphic for some when someone does pledge to the Patreon, man. Uh, I got you, dude. Happy birthday, Jeremy, man. We love you, dude. We freaking love you, man. Okay, that, that was it. Sorry. All right, we're good now. All right, so big pullback. $2.72 pullback on Ethereum. 
as Bitcoin begins its ascent up from XABC and it's heading to D. Okay. Hello? Great, dude. So XRP, a lot of craziness, man. It fell to the most insane, I mean, like literally, I think you were touching the other side of the wall and you weren't supposed to. If you're the Night King, you were like literally somehow touching Westeros side of, side of the wall before getting pulled back to the north in this situation. Um, and then we've since run to the upside. I don't know, it's like inverse wall stuff, whatever, you get it. It's not the same story. This Game of Thrones story is not the same as Bitcoins, okay? So don't, they're in different universes completely. Don't worry about it, dude. So anyway, on this asset, we did get a break and go confirmation, but uh, nothing came from it, came from it after that. What's up, Spencer, dude? Thanks for the uh, super chat, dude. So, measured move of a pattern that, uh, you know, is the wedge. Way up at uh, 36.5 cents. I just don't know how you're getting there, man. I think it's probably way more prudent to go from a high point to low point because of the craziness of the pattern to get more reasonable targets. And we already are at the reasonable targets, unfortunately, dude. I mean, we're at a 30. We got as high as uh, 43, 44% of a retrace from the high to low. And that's the golden zone, man. Remember the golden zone? After an impulse down, we most commonly retrace between 38% and 62% of the way. So that's between 32.097 cents and 34.476 cents, all right? Uh, again, if you were to trade the the wedge with the fibs, your first target is the 50%, your second target is the 618. Okay, that's it. Nothing's changed. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. Livestream connect, exactly. It's more like PC connect, guy gamer. Were you bamboozled? We were all bamboozled, dude, at the same time. When y'all all monkey est and pogst, poggerst, poggerst at the same time, so did I. It was the happy birthday gift that killed the PC? Yeah, dude, that was it, man. That was seriously it, dude. Hmm, hold on a sec. Your opinion on why the tether flood hasn't impacted the price too dramatically. Has the bear market made investors numb to bullshit and buyers know that fundamentally BTC is solid? Buyers since 3150 placed our bets and grabbed our sacks. Your thoughts? Well, I'm going to read that again. Uh, why is the tether FUD not impacted the price too dramatically? Uh, well, what trend are we in kind of right now? The trend we've been in is cons consecutive higher highs, higher lows. So negative news, things like that. It did affect our price short term, but it was like nothing, right? It was kind of based on some RSI bearish divergence. So we don't even know if it was actually affected because the TA was saying we were going to sell off some based on the daily. All right. So it's, you know, news and stuff like that. It's kind of the same way with an indicator, I believe. I mean, unless it, it just has to be overwhelming, like, OK, yep, Satoshi is actually this person and it's all a scam that that'll do it. That'll probably change something. But uh and if you're trending up sloping, right, higher highs, higher lows, negative news is going to be probably less reliable as a catalyst. Just like in an uptrend, a rising wedge might be less reliable. Just like bearish divergence in an uptrend might be less reliable. Because guess what? We had extreme RSI daily uh, bearish divergence on, on Bitcoin. And it played out. And in bear markets, that type of bearish divergence, dude, normally turns out like devastating, like a thousand dollars down, right? But Bitcoin ran down like 300, 400, 500 dollars, whatever, and is now recovered 
like half that. Yes, it's recovered half its losses since all that crap happened. So, buyer since thirty one fifty placed our bets and grabbed our. Yeah, he grabbed your sack of Bitcoin. All right. Well, dude, just remember, you'd been selling off forever. Why don't we have XRP up while we're talking about this? We might as well just have the Bitcoin chart up. So it's like, yeah, oh, we need to get a bit stamp if I'm going to talk about it methodically or talk about it like I'm painting a picture. Bit stamp, right? Yeah, okay. we daily. Okay, there we go. So I was like, yeah, man. I mean, at that point, you'd already sold off tremendously, but November 7th, something happened that uh, called for a huge correction eventually. And, and we were screaming it from the mountaintops a billion times down here. But like, you lost 50, over 50% 50 of your value in a matter of five weeks. That is screaming for a correction to happen. And so all it took was a bullish Gartley to usher it all in. And not much support. Not really, dude. Not much support. 3150. I think Larley was saying that was 3000 was his area. He didn't expect to see us go much lower then. And that was it, man. 3150 was the number and we bounced tremendously and now we're uptrending, right? We're uptrending. Gosh dang it, dude. I'm trying to think now. What was it? What was it? Uh Bitrix? No, that wasn't it, man. Which one was it? Maybe it was the tether pair on Bitrix. That's it. All right. So this is the trend right now as it stands. The lows, the high, right? Plenty of touch. I mean, it's beautiful, dude. The touch points you're getting are unreal. Okay, so... I mean, it's really, it looks like there might be a lot of stuff going on, but this it's one equidistant channel with the Fibonacci from your low to your high. Uh, we don't, we have not even hit. If you went from your, your major low to your major high, we have no idea if this is even the swing low. In my opinion, 5,025, you have to hit that, to hit that 236. Uh, because this is the highest high so far. And remember, you don't even know if you've created an actual swing high until you retrace at least 23% of the way. All right. So, dude, again, this is asking to maybe run to the upside again. Okay? I'm just saying, look what we're doing. We're bouncing off the 20-day moving average. We bullishly engulfed yesterday. I believe on the weekly, we bullishly engulfed. Now, what was it? What am I thinking here? Bullish engulfing candle. Where is the bullish engulfing candle that I'm thinking here? Was it just the daily? I think it was, I guess it was just the daily then. Man, I feel like I'm losing my mind, dude. Okay. I, we did bullish engulf on daily. Man, I think it's just because I was, uh, I look at so many different charts that I ain't going crazy. Yeah, this is it, dude. All right. So the US dollar and US dollar tether much, they're, they're different. And that's, okay. This is the one I was looking at the bullish engulfing candle on the daily that we got. Right here. So that's a that's a good sign, man. Impulse down, sideways consolidation, and then you engulf bullishly in an uptrend, breaking and closing your daily above the 20 moving average. So you're still safe to run again. I dig it, man. Oh my god, man. So anyway, uh that's kind of dead. Wrap up Alvarez's question i guess thanks for the ten dollars much love dude okay what's up Derek merrill man well i appreciate that dude i really do thank you man that means a lot holy crap just reading what's up alex dude hey chalen yeah maybe so dude
I would make a great bartender or card dealer. But you're wondering if I would be taking Alex Trebek's job? What? I don't know, man. I'm pretty happy with where I am. Can I stay here? Derek Merrill, would that be cool with you? Let me know. I don't want to make you mad or anything, okay, dude? Why does Bitcoin say what? Why does Bitcoin at fifty six hundred? Why is it at one? Um, leverage, probably, and obviously the fact that different exchanges, different people trading, so there's going to be disparity. But that's insane disparity. If it really is fifty six hundred, uh, I don't know, man. The the tether crap is is freaking things out. Okay. Have I checked? Oh, I actually haven't checked VeChain today. I have not. We can look at it. Okay. All right, but we looked through the three. We looked at Bitcoin again. Oh, I'd make a great strip dancer. Well, I've often, not so much these days, because it's not like the same as it used to be, but like I, I often was getting compared to a stripper in the past. Okay. Yeah, and I don't even understand. I'm not seeing anyone unless I'm crazy here okay a of visions he got better at managing people he's gonna fire someone soon muhahaha very good man hey if you're managing people a of visions have you read the book the five levels of leadership you need to if you have not you've got to dude like this is leadership advice okay i can't give financial advice but i can give leadership advice five levels of leadership john maxwell get it read it read it again oh my god score music says he's better at being patient while waiting for pattern development excellent score music man demetrius says he's finally utilizing proper risk management and never entering trade without three targets entry you don't have to have three you can have two but three is good layering out Entry and stop loss and end beforehand. Can already see major changes in the way you trade now. Good, Demetrios. It shouldn't be sexy, okay? It, it needs to be cold, calculated, and could quite be uh, quite well be boring to a lot of people. Rick Schmitz, he got better. Oh, he's gotten stronger in the gym and learning more candlestick patterns. Excellent, Rick, man. Brugolinos has learned patience. Nikki Pfaff learned about bullish divergence on the M. I guess on the MACD. Excellent, Nikki. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm going through uh, what y'all got better at because I missed that because chat like scrolled me down. Eric Coffin has gotten better at Fibonacci patterns, measured moves, reading the RSI, MACD. Tons of, that's, that's a lot, man. Eric, that's a, that's a huge, hey, write down this month of April 2019. It could be an evolutionary month for you in terms of education. Mike D, what's up, dude? Randy Schulz got better with patience. Burmaz, he read the Bitcoin Standard book and realized how blind he's been to the monetary system his whole life. That's great, man. Feel free to chime in about that anytime. The stuff you learned from that book, man, let us know in chat. Contribute to the conversation. Anthony says his injuries have gotten better. Very good, man. Kevin Phillips says he's only been watching for like 10 days tops. He's learned all sorts of stuff already. Good, man. Very good. We'll keep sticking around, man. You'll learn more. All right, I think we're good. I think that's all the people that participated in the what did you get better at this month conversation. All right. Awesome. Very good. Like, I think, yeah, there you go. AF Vision's awesome, dude. Because I'm sure you've had a boss before, AF Visions, and once you read this book, you will start labeling your peers of what kind of leader they are, all right? And you don't have to be in a position of power to be a leader. Everyone can be a leader. You paused Game of Thrones to watch this? Dude, you're out of your mind. Get back to Game of Thrones. Watch this replay, okay? You must go watch. Got, dude.
Oh, Bitcoin Cash is selling off. Oh my god, man. Yeah, Spencer, man, I normally do like TTS $3 minimum when we do like that kind of stuff. Okay. So it's just like, it's for the sake of fluidity. All right. Think about if one person tips me 10 times $1 each, I'm doing the entire, their show. I'm not doing my show right. So it's like, this is a precedence thing. I hear you, Burmus. I hear you, dude. I'm sure you're probably not. <laughs> MF, you did not watch Ice Poseidon all month? Oh my god. You mean Rip CX, dude? Well, dude, you know Uber's TTD now, man. Or Uber, sorry. Oh my god. You've gotten better at FEMA? I know you're kidding, Vio. I know you're kidding. I will destroy you. Okay. Okay, let's go to uh, like one to Bitcoin for our friend. I know I shouldn't let it slide. It, it just needs to be, there's like, I just need to start writing it in the description or something. Or make get a night bot to discuss it. Okay, so uh, here's like one to Bitcoin. Huge rally up. Sold off at almost 19,000 sats. And it's been down sloping until we broke. And yeah, people could probably argue that there was a falling wedge, right? Okay, falling wedge, whatever, kind of. It doesn't matter, though. Let me show you. Okay, so four hour, four hour chart. The divergence was there, bullish divergence. And the thing is, what's so scary is you fell below a critical support and pretty much you double bottomed, but the second bottom was lower than your previous bottom. And Bulkowski says those are the most reliable of double bottoms or well, they are the best performing if they play out if they work all right so we have hit the neckline of the double bottom that's the peak that gives you the discernible bottoms and we have failed for now we are bearishly harambeing with 15 minutes left on this four hour candle but above the 20 and the 50 moving average if we could break this the measured move of the double bottom pattern would yield you a, right at the uh, 15,168 area, which is the beginning of the golden zone. Go figure. Golden zone? What are you talking about? Yeah, from your major swing high, the height of the structure of the channel we broke out of, from that high to the low point, the golden zone is between the 38% retrace and the 62% retrace. And that's 15,168 to 16,590. Thank you very much. Okay. There it is, man. That was your last dollar, man. I'm sorry, dude. Should have spent it on... I don't know. Something else, dude. Okay? Nice, Sahar. You just received your book, The Encyclop uh, Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns by Thomas Ian Bulkowski. Hope hopefully it's the second edition. The best edition. No cap of there. All right. Yes, Ricky Thompson. That's right, dude. Epigetti said, oh, you're... He says he's learned to follow the trend and understand the RSI better, like when it's bullish or bearish, overbought or oversold. He says, thanks for everything, man. Thank you, Epigetti, for watching and investing in yourself. Okay. That's what it's about, man. Empowering others if you can. So, like, think about what you can do, Epic Eddie, if you have peers or people you know that may not know me or maybe they know me. It doesn't matter. Okay? It's irrelevant. You can try to empower others by giving them the knowledge that you gained. Right? Make sure you fully understand, you know, what you're talking about before you try to do that. But, uh, yeah, man. Empower others. Dude, what? Oh, let's go to... V-Chain doing things. It has done things, man. All kinds of things, man. 
All right, you want to talk about a double bottom, dude? You can talk about an ungodly double bottom on V-Chain. I mean, you want to talk about RSI, bullish divergence on the four hour? Class B, of course. Of course. Okay, when you get a double bottom, hey, a double bottom, man. When you get higher levels of relative strength on that second bottom, impending price action versus the upside. You didn't have it here, man. It, but it was pretty much like you had a low, a lower low, and you had uh, divergence here, but then it didn't play out. And then, eh, so it's like you didn't really get that much up on the MACD. But my God, man. Right at uh, some support, 110 sats. You boy, did you luck out, okay? You're still in the downsloping channel. All right, but it kind of is like Ethereum a little bit where we could run all the way up to 130 sats before making a lower high than our previous high and selling off hitting critical resistance points. Okay, so again, we double bottomed pretty much at an 88.6% retrace from the bottom to high. Okay, okay. Wow, man, I can't believe it. So good for you, man. We could do the double bottom measure principle or we can do Fibonacci too. All right, doesn't really matter. High to low. Your golden zone starts at 128 and it extends all the way to 139 sats. Whoa, man, big range. Big range of just common retrace levels. Golden zone, remember? I remember. Hello, are y'all even there? Is this thing even on? Am I live right now? I don't know, man. It's been one of those Tuesdays. It really has. <sighs> They're making nice moves today. Yeah, dude. Oh, fireworks? Are you serious? How in the world is that even possible? Julie, I'll take your word for it. Thank y'all for the 100 freaking likes. Y'all are lights out. You know, we had over 100 likes, I think 20 minutes into this stream, the day stream, dude. We're 33 minutes in, but I don't really know when the when it started. Julia, when did we get a timestamp on the 100 likes? Thanks. So, Krang. Crap, man. I think my uh, Bitcoin Cash chart did not save today. No, it did not. Give me that. I got you, dude. Okay. This is weird, man. Okay, yeah, 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 that was it. Dude, dude and really? This is why sometimes giving the parallel channel a shot is good. Because I don't even know if we fell out. If we, if I didn't, here, I'm going to show you, dude. Okay, here's your Bitcoin Cash, the US dollar. It was range bound, right? It was range bound between 255 and like 330. But then it fell out. It, it broke support and dumped and went from how do we do our fib extensions from your previous swing low to high. We got them. So we bounced off and rejected prices lower three times at the 1272 fib extension at $232.12. All right. And we've had a really nice move to the upside. What are we up now? What's in a percentage? Well, I don't know. It was up a lot earlier. Okay. They changed. But as you can see, you're rejecting prices above the 200 moving average. You're right at that 50 moving average. We just had a death cross on the four hour lagging indicator. I understand. But as you can see, there was a little help on the MACD in, in retrospect. <clears throat> Where we had a low here, a lower low, slightly lower levels, negative momentum. The problem is we had it here too, and it just didn't work out. All right. So you're, you had no help on the RSI, I don't think, either. 60 minute you probably had something but i was saying like maybe it would have served us better if we just went with the whole parallel channel that we do all the time instead of a downsloping trend line we did that so if you do that it makes a lot more sense right it's not really a descending triangle even though it looked like it was setting up for it because we had that that thought we were getting a buy wall here we might have balanced made a lower high and dumped but uh no i just fell through it so uh yeah i like it like that man and i think you do too man Okay, hold okay. There's your uh, BCH right at the heart line, the heart line that's been regarded as support before. And I can see it as a resistance right there. So here we are. 
critical areas. All right, so thank you so much, 1272 Fibonacci. You're amazing. We love you, but it's now not relevant to us. We now must see what's ahead of us from your previous swing high to low. We have hit the 38% retrace, and we have not had a candle close above it. We have six minutes and 44 seconds until this four-hour candle close, and it seems we're getting all but rejected. 50% retrace is at $281.21, and we did not hit that yet. Okay. What are these fibs? Oh, I'm just going to make that only visible on the daily. What doesn't matter anyway. There we go. Cleaner. Okay. Okay, man. I hope that helps, Mr. Hakur. Kings. Peter Von Morgan says he's learned that there are other markets to trade, not just crypto. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Gateway drug. This stream. Thanks, MF, dude. You've learned, Toy Channel, that most... What is it? Gosh dang it, like I lost all my chat. Wow. There's gotta be a way, there's gotta be like another stream widget I can use like for myself so I don't have to deal with this crap. The YouTube chat box, it keeps just resetting over and over and over again. There's gotta be a way to turn it off, man, right? See, it doesn't even let me, man, it's so stupid. I don't know, dude. Oh well, we'll get over it. That was Bitcoin Cash. Okay. Hmm. I not I owe not Tepas dude. Remember, he's asking the question. He says, if you would have ADA on Binance, would you keep it there or would you trade it? I mean, I, I don't want to tell you, man. I mean, like, that's specifically up to you. Uh, are you talking about you could turn it into Tether? I mean, I'm not going to be one to tell you what to do with your money. Well, I'll, what I do is we'll talk about potential trade setups and stuff, whether there's an entry, a short, you know, entry for a short or a long position on something. But uh, I don't know. ADA was turning things around we were at an area i think of near entry for a trade on 88 us dollar tether big boy i'm definitely a lot thanks man sure thing brian canard don't see you chat much so thanks for being here thanks for chiming in thanks for saying something if you're a lurker don't be scared man don't be scared Big boy, I don't know. It depends on your aptitude, your IQ, your ability to analyze things. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of variables, and it definitely depends on your passion level and your motivation. Big boy, there is no way to answer that. That's almost like, hey, what's Bitcoin going to be in three years? How long do you think it would take a person to get really, really good with charts? And what would they have to do to do it really well? I think you miss English there, but... Uh, Again, man, it is all person to person. And I think there are too many variables for us to really pinpoint it. Okay, it's definitely a person to person thing. Toys, you know, I don't know. It's a supply and demand. If there was little demand for precious metals today because the dollar the dollar went down, yeah, but do you see the stock market, what it's doing? Like We're having like these mega companies that are having like, stupid good earnings so normally when that happens, you know, people aren't looking at precious metals, okay? Hey, what's up, Kang Logan, dude? Dang, dude. There you go, Ricky Thompson kind of talks about it too. Sorry, dude, I'm trying to, there's a lot of decent amount of chat okay oh god what's up uh, melissa 
Dude, is Burns 420 here too? Damn, man. Oh, Jesus, peoples. Have y'all survived the flooding? Is it, is it over yet? Is it calmed down up there? Are your bridges still collapsing? Jeez. Brooklynus says they learned a new blockchain term. Trustless system. One where two peers enter a virtual handshake agreement, i.e. smart contract, without relying on trusted third parties to facilitate. Funny inverse word, reverse word. Yeah, dude. Trustless system. It requires no trust. Oh, yeah. That's great, man. You say the best women in crypto watch this stream? Oh, yeah, Zachary. And all I can do for that is... I don't know, dude. It's crazy. Like, my analytics on YouTube are like, I think 2.5% of my viewers are ladies, according to that. And I think it's probably off some. I don't know. I don't even know how they know. I guess it's like if you check female or male when you create your YouTube account. Jules626 says, greetings from Los Angeles. Hey, man, I've been there like twice this year already. Crazy adventures. Sorry, man. Good amount of chat. Okay. Definitely good amount of chat. Precious metals is a scam dungeons. Now I've heard everything. Okay. Melissa says he's working and the bridges and roads are collapsing. Gosh dang it. We need to get it together. All right. I'm going to call up President Trump tomorrow. Okay. We're going to have a long discussion about Iowa's roads national emergency okay sweet man hold on what's that uh john doe man i'm sorry do you have a problem man are you okay all right man let's see how it goes for V chain and it's double bottom at starting to get to more critical support. So oh my God, 88% retrace, whatever, right around there. That's good though, man. Look, think about it. A 110, 109 low all the way up to 121 sats, up almost 4% on today. It hasn't even been open that long. It's only been open for like five hours or something like that. Okay, that's good. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. Uh, okay, man. Jeez. This one just don't want to stop. It's uh, trying, but it's just being miserable, man. All right, it's falling below some pretty critical supports, if you ask. Yeah, it looks like we're... It's so weird, dude. ADA, like, bounced. All right, so you fell below critical support. The next support after that was, like, 6.245 cents. Seems like we bounced off whatever this March 24th low but if you look left, you got more help back here from, you know, multiple areas in September, a little double bottom. All right, so looks like that's wrong. Gotta adjust again, cause it sold off once more. Man, I tell you, dude, trying to catch, like, trying to catch these bottoms after the impulses on S coins is not the easiest, okay. All right, after making the adjustment, come on, ADA. If that was the bottom, which we don't even know, we don't know yet. See, divergence didn't play out either. Jeez. Yeah, so divergence isn't really even good. So if you broke out, you're looking for 8.196 cents and 8.616 cents. Okay, your two targets at the falling wedge, but I mean, Bitcoin's running up a little bit. And 88 of the US dollar tether, I guess, ran up a little bit too, but it's down like 1.43% today, doing nothing, hitting the 50 moving average. This thing it seemed like it was ready to go, but what's it doing, man? What's taking so long? I mean, you're at critical supports so again. You had divergence and it failed and you sold off once again, but I don't know, these lows are slightly lower than the next one it's very weak all right not like you're getting these large impulses look at the volume receding 
right from here to here it's just like inexistent volume on the lower lows it's just so weak man but the fact remains we keep making these scrubby little look like four of them dude screw that okay dang dude shane that's crazy he, uh, Shane says almost 50% of the viewers have hit that like button. Dang, man, that's awesome. Thank y'all so much for that, really. Y'all are incredible. Uh, thanks for the 300 people tuned in right now. Dude, we had over 300 likes on the day stream. I mean, that's getting into, you know, we, we get those occasionally on pumps and stuff like that, but man, it's like new territory for getting it consistently. Oh, Toy Channel, what's that conspiracy, man? Do we need to have you on? And I'll, I'll do the, the Mitch Rogan podcast, and we'll talk about the conspiracy theory on Greenspan and Satoshi. Or he is Satoshi. <sighs> hey, Crypto Fish, what's up? He's uh, chiming in on the what he got better at this month. All right. He says, hey, Mitch, I've learned that I'm not just... I'm just not a great trader i know what i'm supposed to do but it's like when i'm actually in a trade all the training goes out the window i get too emotional crypto fish man uh paper trade paper trading that's it man get an account make it a paper trade paper trading account and just uh go with that for a month or something okay and see how you do and if you're using too much capital on one trade that will make you emotional okay Zachary says this month he has learned a partial rise on a rising wedge will likely break to the downside. So, well, it's not. It's really your broadening patterns. I mean, evidently from, from what I read, I guess Bulkowski called. You know, he says they are broadening patterns and rectangles. Okay. And he said, "I need about three fifty. Thanks for all you do." Tree fitty man. Thanks, Vio man, for the three tree fitty man. Tree fitty. I'm supposed to say it like that, aren't I? Dude, I look so different in a t-shirt than I do a collared shirt, man. So different, dude. Sorry, I think he meant like what can he do to make himself not be so emotional? Right? Not hey, how should I quit trading? <laughs> Just become an investor, man. Invest in crypto. Kappa. Remember, Your Honor, he did say Kappa. In case dismissed. Do your research next time, prosecutors. He said Kappa. Yeah, broadening patterns. Still learn before end of move. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, if you have a rising wedge and you don't hit the top, I mean, likely you're probably showing like some bearish divergence. Remember, because like the best area to go short, what the best area to go short on a rising wedge is like normally when you can get to the top of that uh, pattern, and then you get all the bearish divergence with it, and maybe on a daily time scale. <sighs> <clears throat> Throat's starting to dry out again. My God, man. I don't know why it's doing this to me, man. Why is it betraying me? Bitcoin to the US dollar dollar. It's my favorite asset bear. <clears throat> Alright, we're moving up a little bit more. We just had the uh, four hour candle close. My bad, dude. I forgot to do it. It's my bad. I'm about to go get a water on the eights. Oh my god. Hold on. It's like, you know that feeling you get?
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I'm trying to get this audio good again. 5324, big one. <clears throat> oh, is Alex Cobman the Kang here? Oh my god, not wearing a chair, dude. Yeah, man. Dude, it's so bad. I did that comparative analysis on XRP and Bitcoin, and then I like showed up to Alex's stream today, and some loser, like, immediately, as soon as I say hi, he's like, Hey, I didn't know they allowed uh, S YouTubers in this in this stream or something like that. And he's like, he's like, I unsub to you, and you're here. I'm just like, wow, dude. That's what I get, dude. That's what I get for posting a comparative analysis that uh, had just uh, only logic behind it. I mean, it was just a uh, hey. Think about it like this, instead of just being blind by emotion and fundamentals, all right? So, uh, Daniel Naylor, I, I own XRP long-term, I have to. Like, dude, when people tip me in crypto, I don't sell it. It just sits there. If it goes to zero, it goes to zero. If it goes to a billion, it goes to a billion. That's like, if you tip via stream elements, there's cool emojis and Jesus chimes and all that. If you tip me a crypto, there's Jesus chimes, but you know, hey man, I'm putting, I'm making Mitch's percentage of all his holdings a little bit higher for crypto, right? When you tip in crypto. And, and it was really, it all started because like, you know, when I left like the, the first place, I think they were spreading FUD about me saying like, how could you listen to this guy when he only has uh, 5% or less of his overall por portfolio invested in crypto? And I'm like, you know what, man, if ever, and then that's like a little bit later, a few months later, Streamlabs made it to where you can tip in crypto. And I'm like, okay, this is how I'll, I'll get at those people without hurting myself or, you know, making myself be more exposed. If you tip, then I just, I just keep it in crypto. I keep it in that asset you tip me in. All right. So I'm in the long game with y'all no matter no matter what, dude. Okay. And and based on everything, how it's all manifested, I probably have more money than a lot of people in crypto. Okay? Yeah, big positions will make you freak out, crypto fish. They will make you emotional. Don't do it, man. One would not want to do that unless they wanted to become emotional. Excuse me, I must phrase that the right way. Not financial advice, dude. Oh yeah, Alex, for sure, man. And I've never talked crap about Ripple in terms of how much they've accomplished comparative to all the other assets that are out there. So, no, the AC is on, Zachary, man. I turned that on, dude. Okay. Hey, Mac Daddy, dude, thanks for the uh, 5 XRP from the XRP tip bot, dude. Thank you, dude. What is this? The 2.9% want to see you model your shorts. Oh, yeah. Sad girl. Must I push that it feels so good? Brian Kennard says, Mitch, honest question. Do you believe in any of these S-Coin projects? Or are you solely trading this market? I believe in a couple, a few, whatever. I, I, but the thing is, I don't know. It's like, just because you're first doesn't mean you're going to exist in five years. Just because you were first to think of something or first to be an entity. Like, it's too far out, man. Those questions are like, is it going to, you know, what happens in 10 years to... Binance coin. What happens in ten years to Ripple? What happens in ten years to Bitcoin? Right? I don't. I don't know. So, I believe in Binance as an exchange because it works for now until some crazy scandal erupts. Right? So I believe in Binance as an exchange between buyers and sellers. I believe in Monero because it, to this date, is the strongest form of privacy that exists on the planet. Right? It's for, you know, cyber, and then. Uh, I don't know, I think XRP is decent because it's legit because so many real companies use it, but I worry about its 
I worry about banks being banks, right? The business side of banks cutting out the middleman and just doing their own thing. Like JP Morgan coin. We I talked about this like a year ago before all that crap happened. So you just got to worry. About, you got to think about I It's hard to say because it's too far out. Too many things can happen. Dude, it's a Toshi run, man. Is that a joint? Thanks for the uh, four, uh, 4.2 XRP. Like everything that's in my XRT, XRP tip bot has never moved. It's just sat there. Like every tip I've ever received from there. These shorts are yellow. Yes. Yellow Ralph Lauren's. Okay. With a, you know, navy blue Ralph Lauren t-shirt. Okay. So it's uh, casual, but it's fratty. It's super fratty. Holy crap, man. This chat just keeps... Alex, how do you deal with that? I think you probably use Restream or something, right? I mean, but I don't know, like, your your chat, you normally have, like, you can't even do it. You just have to look at the newest comments, it seems like. Because you have, like, normally over a thousand people watching you during the day streams. Jeez, man. Oh, you're, you're requesting, oh, well, Melissa... You, you can't request that way, right? I mean, that's literally me breaking and doing a spin, okay? You'll literally be seeing my butt if I model my pants. Okay, so it's a little bit more formal than a, hey man, could you show your pants? Could you model your pants, man? No big deal. That's kind of a big deal. I mean, I guess, right? I don't think I've ever modeled my pants before in the history of this show. We're talking. I think over, yeah, over 600 live streams in my tenure. Never have I once modeled my pants, okay? Sure thing, Toy Channel. What's up, dude, I can't, where you been, man? Am I crazy? Have you been absent? What's up, Renee? Renee, do you want pants too? The pants modeling? I think there's a petition for a vote. Okay. Very cool. So big one's doing nothing. I thought it, you thought it was gonna be going up some more. Uh, let's go ahead and tether, just look at the difference. Nothing, right? Closed right at that. Man, that sucks, dude, right? On the four hour, you were right at the 50 moving average, but you just couldn't find the courage to break above it. And now you're still having trouble. Come on, Bitcoin. Do we need to take you to Oz so the Wizard of Oz can give you courage? Like for the lion. Let's go Bitcoin then. For Bitcoin, we will give you courage for Ethereum we will give you a heart. And for XRP, we will give you, I don't want to say a brain, because that's kind of, I think that was the only one left, right? There's only like three things or something. So maybe we'll go, uh, we'll give XRP a heart because XRP is the enemy to a lot of people in the crypto sphere. So we'll give XRP a heart and then we'll give Ethereum a brain. All right, Vitalik, go get a brain, dude. You'll get what I'm talking about. Probably not. Uh, I'm sure the people that is that a joint probably got it better than others. <sighs> Don't model anything but my beer mug, Midnight Synergy. Are you sure about that, dude? Are you sure? Invitation to the pants party. All right, well, let's go. Even if banks create their own coins, they will still need XRP for the bridge. But what if they just uh, they create their own bridge? What's stopping them from creating a coalition to start their own? And that, that's all I worry about. That's all I'll say, man. It's like, it's all it is, man. It's about adaptation and that speculation that we cannot think about. We can't identify how it's going to go because it's so far out. right? We don't know what the banks are going to do, but they sure as heck one in on what XRP's on. Okay. 
Oh, Vitalik's clapping right now. Alright, good job, uh, Vitalik, man. Please clap. Oh my god, man. Dude, I can't believe it's already 2019. And we're getting, like, closer and closer to the like, mid-year. <sighs> how, how in the world has time fl flown so much that there's a presidential election next year? That's just crazy to me, man. Time, dude. Oh yeah, the gap. There was a gap down on CME futures on Bitcoin, Logan man. So fifty four twenty eight. All right, so the gap was. And yeah, I guess that's right around where that measure move is, isn't it? Huh? That's so weird. Wait, no, would that be the? I don't think that's gonna be the P the PCZ is up fifty five, potentially fifty five hundred, but it could go all the way to one two seven two, right? We know that from last time. So you want to look at it, man, really, how, see, harmonics are great because they don't have to be like completely perfect. They can have the, the wrong bottoms and tops, but it's like, do you get what's going on? It's like you had one impulse, X, A, B, C, D, and when it ended, the next impulse came. And so, right. I mean, all right, so 886 retrace. We broke it, but we didn't go too much further. 53, 57, all the way up to 5,600, okay? So it's like this, it could have happened where all this price action could have happened here, but it didn't. It just went a couple fib nodes higher. It broke the 886 100% and then hit the 1272 and then was done for the next impulse, right? So it's like, though it wasn't a real formal pattern that was perfect, it still played its role. We still knew this was D, man. This was the D wave or leg. And when it ended, look at the price action you got. And so here we are again. X, A, B, C, looking for the D, she says. I feel so good! God, I wish there's gotta be a better way to say this, man. All right, I'll figure it out. So you could do that, you hit the 886, you could keep going, or hit the 1272, just like Big Brother behind you. Big Brother Bat, but not really bat. Like, kind of crabbish. All right, this is like a crabbish pattern. Even though the crabs are supposed to, like, no matter what, hit a 1618. But this could play into the three drives pattern that we were talking about in the day stream. All right, so uh, it's just a little sermon on the beauty of harmony in these markets. And these uh, patterns help us see it. All right. Let's be Kangs. That's it. Ricky Thompson, I believe that is uh, definitely a threat. Do you want to bridge to a few locations or all locations? Well, it depends. I mean, look, they will logistically figure out a way. They have unlimited sums of money. And, uh, They'll, they'll put it in the R&D to figure it out. They'll figure out together. They will, look, it'll be like uh, humans versus uh, the Night King, right? What, it, what it, Think about XRP as the Night King. Okay, XRP is the Night King and the, the army of the dead. And all the humans must come together to defeat the Night King. Or not, right? It seems like, yeah, no chance. But they will find a way and they will fight. But they will look, they will fight until they're dead, all right? Until they're part of the undead army to defeat XRP, which in this case is the Night King. You understand? XRP is breaking down the wall, man. And the banks see that and they're like, oh crap, they're sending ravens to each other. You got Jamie Diamond, I guess it's the three eyed raven or something, you know? Look, you got other banks that don't want anything to do with helping the other banks because they're competitors. That's like King's Landing, right? They're humans that won't help in the fight against the undead. Do you understand? Pretty good analogy, right? Okay. They will fight, man. That's right, Julia. Slow it down. What's up, Derek Bond? 
Tyler says the only reason he thinks XRP will not do well is because everyone everyone thinks it will do well. That's a kiss of death in crypto. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, man. Can you make sense of the 2017 bull run? Not really. Not till the end. Not till it created that rising wedge with all the bearish divergence on the daily time scale. Not really, man. There's not like TA on FOMO runs like that. I just go straight up. Uh, you take your profit where you can, and then it just keeps going. And you say, "All right, let's look for some variables to maybe get to short this thing." I mean, twenty thousand dollars. We didn't even hit twenty k. We had nineteen thousand nine eight nine or something like that. So the rounded number of twenty k, two hundred dollars. Two dollars, twenty dollars on assets, rounded psychological numbers. You break ten k, you're probably going to fifteen k. You break fifteen k, you're probably going to twenty k. Thanks, Ryan G. Man, appreciate that, dude. That's flattering, really. Dang, man. No, when do we hit 100 likes, Julia, is what I mean. Like, when do we hit 100 likes when this, you know, through, through the duration of the show, right? Jamie Diamond's definitely Cersei. There you go, man. There you go. Not uh, the Three-Eyed Raven. Okay. Maybe the Three-Eyed Raven's like Elon or something. Random. Not involved. Okay. Game of Thrones sounds like climate change. No, I don't think that's it, dude. Okay. I don't think so. Mike Daddy, man. Psychological numbers. Below psychological numbers. That's it. That's like all you can do, man. When you're in outer space and you're on a FOMO run, dude, you, you don't have any. You only have what we all know. And we all know the fives and the zeros. That's it. Fib extensions, be danged. And, and there are times when the fib extensions are thrown out of the window, man. It doesn't even make sense anymore. You go from your high to your low, you're beyond the three, six, one, eight. You go way high. So you can only look at zeros and fives. All right, man. Repeatable patterns. We'll see if history repeats itself like a Kang, dude. It would be so fantastic. But 886 is really first. This is the era we're going to be like, okay, we expect to potentially get to the 886. Let's see if we break it. If we break it, we know there's 100% and there's the 1272. All right. So first, we go here. Oh, dude, Herbert sold all his XRP for Polyconnect. Dang, dude. Fantastic. I can't believe you've done it, man. I can't believe you've done this. Hey, Prosperity Plus. Staying positive, man. Awesome, dude. Well, that sucks, Tyler, because that's uh, highly speculative, isn't it? Yeah. Tron didn't uh, do very well, did it? Um, you know, the whole Tesla, fake Tesla giveaway thing. Terrible. All right, so <clears throat> let's go to Cone Base again. All right, so still trying to make higher highs. And yeah, well, the square up price up here, 54.60, right, where the dump happened. Easily see yourself run out to this area. Loki. Apple up to $210 after hours. Remlog, get wrecked, dude, in a good way. Hey, that's great, man. Market mover, man. It's good to see that. Because you know what happened today. Why did, like, the Qs and the S&P fall a little bit? It was Google, man. Google's market mover. So Apple doing something like this in a positive way is going to make the market probably move up tomorrow. Remlog, if you're in here, I don't even know if you are. It was like an hour ago or 45 minutes ago. So... <clears throat> No, Jay, that is wrong. XRP is the Night King. Coming to destroy the banks, dude. Are you kidding? 
Dude, y'all, that's not how it works, man. That's not how it works. It's the banks versus XRP. Well, maybe not in XRP's eyes, but definitely the bank's eyes. The banks are like, mm hmm, new player, man, in our world, our industry. We'll see how long this lasts, man. We're going to work behind the scenes quietly, do our own thing, learn about what you're doing, and destroy you. It's business, man. It's not personal. So don't take it personal or become emotional about it. He did that. What he did pl play that right though. He did get his Tesla. What are you talking about, Ricky? Shoot, man. Monthly falling wedge. I don't know, dude. What uh, what chart, I'll kid? Maybe maybe Satoshi is the three-eyed raven, right? Maybe that's how it goes. And then, like, the children of the forest are like, because we know we don't really know if Satoshi's one person or a collective group of people, and so maybe the children of the forest are part of that collective group of people that created Bitcoin, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about J.P. Morgan coin, dude. It's like a it's a meme. It's a joke. But it one important thing is it is the beginning. It is the inception of it, dude. There will be many more after the J.P. Morgan coin. J.P. Morgan coin, classic. J.P. Morgan connect. J.P. Morgan cash. It's coming, Brian Motter. Don't be scared, man. Amazon connect. Whatever, dude. Oh, okay, I got you. so weird huh okay so that's on the Nasdaq now the liquid index it started uh, its inception was February 29th 2019 wow Didn't know that. what okay all right it's cool so I'll okay, man what are you talking about the same thing you know I think that's uh it's been some sort of yeah, all right. Downloading reset, then we broke it, man. We did it, man. We're kings. Yay. And you're just talking like what, man? I mean, that's so arbitrary, though. All right, look at too much white space, man. It was a descending triangle and you broke out. All right? I thought it was a wedge, too, at one time, but the way it was really plotted it was like this. And then we then we broke. Okay, so it was like descending triangle. You broke out. Did not make the measure move, but fib extensions from the low to high. Dang man, we didn't even hit the one six one eight, which is at twenty six oh six. That's crazy. That's nuts, man. Between the one four one four and the one six one eight, where we bottomed. All right. The yeah, Alked saying he's saying there's a wedge. We broke out. Measure move puts you at thirteen thousand or something, whatever. But uh, I think it probably is just better to more prudent to go high to low, and see that we've uh, ex we've exceeded the two three six. So we know that this is probably the swing low, which is good. And we're above it right now somehow, some way. And so we know the golden zone for anything, just like Bitcoin. And again, man, the whole thing is, you haven't even touched 5,800 yet, so I don't even care. Like, this is overwhelming amounts of resistance up here that we haven't even tested, which I think maybe on this next leg up for Bitcoin, we could on the third hoorah, the third drive, if you will. Your golden zone for Bitcoin is between 64.53 and 84.87 from the height of your potentially arbitrary falling wedge but it does look okay i guess all right it is the top i mean the top of the structure whether you call it a channel or a wedge doesn't matter you can use the fibonacci the same way you don't have to be worried about a measure move measure move seems way too way too large on something like bitcoin man. I 
Alfonso says, I have to admit. Why do you have to admit, man? You could say, I unobtrusively admit because I want to. He says, this is an amazing community. I'm glad I'm here now. Alfonso, man, we're glad you're here too, man. All right, we're going to grow. Keep growing every day, dude. If I just pick up one really cool person with an open mind out there every day to potentially want to invest in themselves, hey, man, I get great fulfillment out of that. Okay, and that keeps me going. All y'all do. But there you go, Alkhead, man. Just uh, another look, right? Kangs. All right, I've been live for like an hour and 16 minutes now. Jeez. If you're enjoying that live stream, hit that like button, that bell, Thanks so much. Oh my god. You notice, thanks for the 312 people here. Holy crap, man. Three likes away from 200. What? All right, Bradford has to take a shot of tequila or something, man. All right, let's go to Ethereum. Eh, sorry, Bitcoin, being a scrub. Well, it's loud. My bad. Sorry. That kind of pisses me off. There you go. Here's your Ethereum, dude. Ethereum connects the huge dump, the pump. All right, the channel we are confined to for now. It looks wonderful, man. And it's like pinpoint accurate touches a higher low double bottom right here off this 25% uh, trend line of the equidistant channel. We've since bounced. The, di the convergence, the bullish con overwhelming convergence was so good last night. I said, all right, man, this is what we could be setting up for. It makes sense because down here is when we hit, we hit our second target of the bearish crab pattern. Dude, give me a break. Like, give me a freaking break. Oh, no, no, no. I know what it was. Wasn't it like that? I don't think that's it, man. I think it's, uh... I think I'm crazy, man. Yeah, dude, that's it, dude. I'm just losing my mind, dude. Sorry. So, as we've seen before, harmonics turn into harmonics. That D ends up being the X and A for the next pattern. All right. So, <clears throat> overwhelming upsloping or downsloping resistance is going to be putting you at uh, 168 to 170. I don't know if we would ever hit the 886 with that resistance. can be very tough. Heart lines there, too, of the crazy upsloping channel we're in. All right. The short-term trend is your friend for now, or mid-term, I guess. Ethereum again, Michael Marks, 170, as it seems. But we're also, man, failing to break above the 200 moving average right now. We like wicked off of it miserably. Showed this crazy, crazy hammer, right? That's a inverted hammer. Do you see that beautiful hammer? Could be a reversal for the downside, right? That's these are typically at tops okay huge rejection tons of selling pressure came in to push you down near open all right so let's see how this uh bearish hammer plays out all based on bitcoin bitcoin's gonna rule the day here oh yeah this is beautiful man so freaking pretty i love harmonics man How many tequila shots? That's 207 tequila shots for Bradford tonight or else. Okay. Double fireworks. Yeah. What's up, Hassan? Hassan. Oh, 
man. Sorry. Dude, I've been going, man. I've been going. My purpose has been served this evening on a Tuesday night. Right? Came in, gave updates. We looked at the live price action, looked at some requests. What more do you want? One more. Upsloving channel. We broke the pennant to the upside. We're just $20, $30 away from the measure move of the pennant. That's it, and we could go much higher. All right, dude, Bitcoin's sitting at 62 on the RSI. Hot, but not too hot. Positive momentum is still cresting, making its highest high of the hump so far. Hanging in there, man. Let's see if we can just keep on rising, keep on floating like Modest Mouse. Okay. Break it. We broke above the 50% reach race. We broke above the 50 moving average on this chart. Vio, thanks for the tree pity. Alvarez, thanks for the 10. Spencer, thanks for the 1. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks so much for being here, everyone. Love y'all. Till next time. Respect the T.A. Okay, oh sorry, it's been broken. Thanks. Your opinion on why the tether flight has an impact on the price too dramatically. As the bear market made investors and under bulls, investors know that fundamentally BTC is solid. Buyers since 3,150 close to the bets and grab that stock. Get back. Okay, I got it. I killed it.
that boy's good. Good and terrible. I am not amused. Adios, turd nuggets. <laughs>